Welcome back to Galileo 102. In the final section, we'll link a variable input device like a potentiometer to controlling the light. So when you go to open here and you click, you'll notice that at the bottom it says 01 basics, 02 digital. I actually downloaded a zip file that says, uh, that was called 11.galileo linux. And this um, I added into the folder. So you can add as many examples as you want to the Arduino environment. Um, simply by going to the 1.5.3 folder, clicking on examples, and adding your own folders. So you can see here I added this one called Galileo Linux, and inside are, e are folders, one for each project, and inside that are these .ino files. That, those are the uh, Arduino programs themselves. So if we go back to the Arduino environment, and we open up, and we go to, let's say, control, there's a program here called um, if statement. So that one of the basic programming things you can do is say, if this, then this. And what this program shows is how you can connect a potentiometer to the Galileo so that when you turn it high or low, you can turn the um, LED on or off. So I thought it might be interesting for us to upload this one and then hook that up. You want to try it? Let's, let's try it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go ahead and verify that this, this uh, compiles. And, and it, did. it did, yeah. And without even picking the program apart, uh, I just want to try it first. And this is typically how I work. I like to just play. So I'll download something, get it working, and then I'll study the code to try and understand it. And this is, a, I think, a great way to learn. And um, the reason I wanted to show all these examples is that um, playing is actually the best way to learn the programming language. So you can just kind of go through, look at different control structures, how to communicate, and you see all the possibilities once you're looking at all these examples. Um, so let's just upload that, that to the board. And it looks here like um, we still have this connected to pin 13, but we need to connect a, a poten potentiometer as well. So what we have here is a potentiometer, and it basically has three little pins. We're going to connect the one uh, on the, on the right-hand side to ground and the, the one on the left-hand side to power. The pin in the center is going to be changing. It's going to be changing the, the, the resistance, in this case the voltage, in fact. And that's what we're going to use as a, our input control. We're going to go off and plug ground first. So if you can give me a hand, that will yep. be the second pin. Yeah, there's two ground pins here on this side. Perfect. And now we're going to go off and plug in power. Yep. Let me help you. So the fourth one over is a 5-volt power source. I'll plug that in. Perfect. Now how about signal? Which pin are we going to use? It's A0. Perfect. So. I'm going to go off and plug this back in here, uh, the pin in the center and the potentiometer. And we're going to go and plug this into A0. Which is the which first is one here. Yeah, first one there. Great. So just twist it and see if it um, turns the light on. We're running? Yep, yep, we are. OK, cool. Yeah. So it looks like when he gets past a certain threshold, the light turns on. When he turns the other direction, it turns off. Let's look in the program and see why that's happening. Um, so in the beginning here, we set the um, analog pin that we want to uh, connect the um, potentiometer to, to be A0 and our LED pin to be 13. So um, these are all the analog pins on this side and the digital pins are, are located on the other side of the board. So you, you set those pins up with the um, pin mode command here. You'll also notice that there's a, a serial command here, serial begin 9600. That means that if I click on the serial monitor, I can see an output from the potentiometer as he turns it, you can see this threshold. Now it looks like the threshold in the program is set to 400, so as soon as he gets above 400, the light should go on. Yep, so let's look at that. We have a variable here in the very beginning called uh, threshold, which is set to 400. So down in the loop, it says that if the analog value, which is the value that we get when we read from the uh, analog pin, which is A0, we take that analog value and compare it to the threshold. If it's greater than the threshold, then go ahead and uh, output a high value to the LED pin, which turns it on. Otherwise, what we want to do is um, turn it off or keep it low. So that's an example of a, con a basic conditional statement. And you'll use these a lot to um, connect sensors and actuators together. And then the serial debugging is really useful um, if you want to see, you know, real time what values you're getting from various sensors.
So there's a lot more you can do, um, and the best way of doing it, I think, is just to go through the examples and try them one at a time, because that'll give you a sense of um, some of the different sensors and actuators that you can use, how you interface with them and control them. And the Arduino language is designed to be very simple um, and very accessible, and I think that's r the real beauty of it that, it, that it is easy and accessible to use. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we're really excited to see what you guys build.